Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with some 2K20 Mike career. That's right, I said it. Uh, we probably have, like, no s attribute. Oh, wait. We have, like, three. Oh, shit. Never mind. No, I don't want to equip. Actually, wait. I might. I should probably should equip that, right? Oh, wait, I should probably equip some of these. Alright, we got all that equipped now. Alright guys, well we're gonna get started now. So this is all... I, I know... Let me just tell you. I know that this game takes place like in the future, like past 2020, past now. But I'm not gonna treat it like that. I'm gonna treat this like... Kind of before... 2K9, some of it before 2K17, and some of it after 2K19, if that makes sense. Like, all the indie stuff, all the stuff on the indies, or some of the stuff on the indies I might treat, I might treat as, like, before 2K17, and some of it I might treat, I'll, I'll figure it out. Red was one of the but anyway. toughest opponents I ever faced. No matter how hard I hit her, which was pretty hard. Oh shit, Ronda Rousey. What's up, Ronda? Sorry, it feels strange to stand up here and talk about her in the past tense. Don't get me wrong, I'm honored to do this, but I never thought it would happen so soon. For Red or her best friend, Trey. Wherever Red went, Trey was there too. And tonight's no different. They truly are a package deal. They always had each other's backs, and... That was certainly the case when I faced off against Red in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Right now, this is anyone's match as far as I'm concerned. I'm sticking with my pick of the rookie sensation, Red, to take home the briefcase. Red faced an uphill battle just to qualify for this match. You have to wonder if that will affect your chances here tonight. Of course it will. You need to be fully I can't reverse. Like I and can't Red reverse. Tonight, running on fumes. I gotta get Ron to the yellow. Oh, wait. Oh! Dang, Red. And, uh, by the way, I, I, I will tell you my plans for after this my career is over, but it's probably going to be longer than all of the other my careers that I've done. In, in, in like, you know, if 2K17... I would say is probably my longest my career I've done. This is probably going to be longer than that. Oh, it's swan top. Never mind. I think this is probably going to be the longest my career I've ever done. Oh, sling blade. Drop kick. Okay, I got, I got Ronda to yell, and I got to punch her while she's standing. She's fine. Oh, me and Ronda putting up some ladders. It's going to be a race to the briefcase between Red and Ronda Rousey. Oh, everyone else is climbing in now. Yeah. Oh, we got Bianca Belair, Charlotte, and Shayna Baszler. Oh, and Zelina Vega. Zelina Vega's there too. Oh, I don't even know why Zelina Vega's in this match, but it's kind of nice they included her in the my career in this game. It's kind of nice. Same, same with Shayna and Bianca. It, it's nice they included them too. Sh Charlotte's, Charlotte's been included in like every my career as far as I know. I know she's been included in 2K19. 2K18, 2K18 maybe. 17, I, would, I wouldn't say she was included in that. But DDT to Ronda. 
beautifully. Sweeps the legs. Oh, whoop. damn it. She reversed. And this is like... Absolutely relentless. I'm gonna like go and say that this is like after Russell. This is like this right. This Money in the Bank ladder match. I'm gonna say will technically be 2019, but it'll be like after WrestleMania. That's what I'm gonna say. This Money in the Bank ladder match is. I gotta write. I gotta write down some stuff after this stream anyway. Ronda, stop reversing, please. I really appreciate it. Oh, shit. Oh. Bam. I gotta get Ronda to red health. So, might not be that easy. Might not even be that hard. Oh, and a rip cord finish fly. Well, damn. Out of there. Irish Irish whip Ronda into the corner. I got that. Watch this shit. Oh, Maria Omega. And yes, that's her name. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. She's trying to square up to Ronda Rousey with them strikes. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. She got reversed. Oh, Zelina Vega. Zelina, Zelina Vega, man. She, she, Zelina Vega is about to win. Oh, no. Zelina. Oh, Maria Omega. Maria Omega. Oh. Andrade. Oh, yeah, it's your boy. It's your boy. That's Chris Alexander, by the way. From from the 2K19 My Career. Your boy. 2K18, 2K17. That's your boy Chris Alexander right there. Looking a lot different than he used to. This pains me to admit, Byron. But you might have been right about your prediction. She's going to do it. In her first attempt, Red is going to win the Money in the Bank ladder match. Oh, she's trying to, she's trying to get it. Oh shit. Oh my god, it's an arm bar on the ladder. Oh, that really you're going to end it like that? Come come on 2K. Come on 2K, leaving me on a cliffhanger like that. Come on, bro. Come on. For real? So basically what I'm going to do, I think some of the indie stuff will be before 2K17. Some of it will be after 2K19, so kind of current. But pretty much everything in that happens in WWE for the female My Career character will all be, like, current. Because, like, you know, you couldn't use females on My Career until day. this year. I don't think I've seen you dressed up since our senior prom. <laughs> oh yeah, our one oh and only date together because no one else would go with us. I remember showing up in that sweet homemade million dollar man suit. Didn't you wear a cane mask? No wonder we couldn't get dates. To be fair, <laughs> the theme of the prom was a masquerade. Eh, still weird. You have the list, right? No, I thought you had it. Seriously? I put it in the safe just like you told me to. Man, the way you treat that thing, you'd think it was the Magnet Carta. Did you say Magnet? Yeah, oh my some really fucking old god. Magnet, right? It's Magna... It's no Magna Carta, not Magnet Carta. Notebook paper from high school. It's not just an old piece of paper. That list has been the roadmap to our entire careers, and now there's only one thing left to cross off. Did you forget the combination? It might have slipped my mind, but don't worry, I wrote it down on my phone. Which is also in the safe. This is why I always said we should have got the list tattooed on us. No chance of losing it, and we'd have way more street cred. Yeah? Well, I'm going to be getting a teardrop oh my tattoo if you don't get that thing open.
I'm trying here. All right, Maria. Maria, I am trying to get this thing open. Okay? Okay. Cool. Appreciate it. Also, if this game 2K20 has its habits of crashing. So if you see it look like it crashed or something like if you see a black screen or like the twitch pause thing pop up on the screen just out of nowhere it's usually because of that and then i have to like go back into the whole thing but anyway and, and just note guys in this game there's a lot more cutscenes. This then there is, is really fighting. To give us confidence, recognition, success. Everything oh shit, high school wanted. boys. Your Earth high school no boys. Do all that? No. We're going to use it to make a list of everything we'll accomplish someday when we become WWE superstars. We could do that. Oh, nice. Or we could play my favorite lunchtime game, guess what Mr. Bowman's sweat stains look like today. I'm kind of seeing a heart shape. What do you think? I think you need to take this seriously. <laughs> it's a proven fact that if you write down your goals, it helps you achieve them. Actually, now I'm thinking it looks more like a one-eared rabbit. Fine. I'll go first to get the ball rolling. Become WWE Divas Champion. Your turn. Okay. Star in a WWE action movie. Really? That's one of your goals? Ne do you want me to do the list or not? Besides, it's a proven fact. WWE action movies are some of the finest pieces of cinematic art ever produced. So it would be an honor to appear in one. Whatever. Oh my god. Train at the dungeon. Come up with awesome wrestling names. Team with Mickey James. Get my own action figure. Compete on NXT. Win a dance off. Wrestle Lita. Find out what's inside Undertaker's urn. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Be in a WWE video game. Win a ladder match. I've got a match for you. My butt, your face. What are you two farwats doing? This table is reserved for wrestling oh, team god. members only. I thought there was a lot of boogers stuck underneath it. Funny, you can leave now. Sorry, we're busy. Get my own action figure, become WWE Divas Champion. Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey, being immortalized oh, in oh, semi posable oh. plastic is the greatest Brooklyn thing Von Braun. Can achieve. I think that's your Don't name. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What, like this? <sighs> that was a oh. huge mistake. <laughs> High school boys. This is the high school days, man. Swear to you. This is high school days. This was back when Chris Alexander and Maria Omega are both just high schoolers. They're trying to live their life. And then you get Brooklyn Von Braun, high school Bobby Lashley, and high school Pete Dunne bullying them. I like the song I'm listening to now. On the game, I mean. Oh, shit. Why are we on Raw is War. I'm done. Oh, Brooklyn with a cross face. Wait a minute. No. I have I've edited Brooklyn Von Braun and it carries over to the mic. I forgot about that. I forgot my Brooklyn Von Braun is slightly edited. She's a, so she has max reversals and she's a 95 overall and she has an edited move set. This reminds me of that movie with the spinning top. Everything's oh. confusing and a little bit off. For example, I wasn't oh. even a WWE commentator when Red was in high school. Well, you're barely a WWE commentator now. None of this makes sense. Just sit back and enjoy the ride, Saxton. This is, uh, I guess, like a daydream for Maria Omega during her high school days. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Brooklyn! Oh, single leg drop kick. 
Oh, double elbows in it. Oh, spinning back kick. Oh, goddamn. I couldn't believe what Brooklyn did to their list. I mean, what did she expect was going to happen after that? Yeah, if you ask me, a Brooklyn's the real fart wad. Oh shit, this is all in Maria Omega's imagination. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, damn. Outer. This reminds me of the time I stood up to my bully in high school after years of being picked on. Weren't you homeschooled? Yeah, but my sister was pretty tough. Oh, a reverse. Then. Reverse back elbow. Come on, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, bro. Ref, why are you holding me back? She's hitting the referee. Oh my god. I have to get Brooklyn to red health and she disqualified herself. I for one oh. can't wait to see red Double super kick. Oh, so much for unbiased comment. This is Red's memory of how it went Shining down. Wizard. Oh, single leg drop kick. Oh, she's got Brooklyn. Falcon arrow. This reminds me of that movie with the spinning top. Everything's confusing and a little bit off. For example, I was oh, no. a WWE commentator when Red was in high school. Well, you're barely a WWE commentator now. None of this makes sense. Just sit back and enjoy the ride, Saxton. This is all. Oh, wait. Oh, the strikes. This is all in Maria Omega's high school memory. Or daydream, whatever. Oh, wait, oh, and... oh! Oh, she went for it. Ooh, double stomp to the chest. Oh, sling boy. Then do it. Drop kick. Shooting star press. Strike Brooklyn while standing in the ring. Alright, I can do that. Oh, she went for a punch. Brooklyn. Oh! A shot to the kidney. Trey has a... He has a lunch tray and she slipped. Oh my god. And Maria Omega. Oh my... Oh shit, the moonsault. That's it. And Red's she over. Red cemented herself as way tougher and cooler than Brooklyn will ever be. That's exactly what happens oh, when damn. you make fun of Red. You paid dearly. This is all a flashback. Or this is all a dream. Well, don't hurt your imaginary head, Byron. This is all in a dream. That did not actually happen. And here's the thing, you know, you guys know how I said, I'm trying, I'm planning on making this to where, like, some of the indie stuff takes place before 2K17's my career. Well, I started playing wrestling games back in, like, 2005. So I think that's as far back as I'm gonna start this. Like that's just that's how far back wait, wait, I wanna. Let me get this straight. You remember your fight with Brooklyn when we were in high school, taking place in a WWE arena with a ring sold out crowd and commentators? The guy who can't remember the safe combination is questioning my memory. No, the guy who can't remember the safe combination is questioning your sanity. Whatever. I may have taken a few liberties with my story, but that is how I choose to remember it. Well, as much as I'd love to join you in rewriting history. That day is scorched into my brain because that's how I got my nickname, Trey. This is how it really went down.
All right, what? All right, so I have my phone on me right now, and I'm just writing down some stuff, so. Oh, God, what's happening now? Get my own action figure, become WWE Divas Champion. Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey, being immortalized in semi-posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What, like this? That was a huge Ooh, got mistake. Him. Oh no, I've unleashed Hothead Red. I'm gonna take that marker, bring it to your grandmother's nursing home and cross out parts of her chart so when the nurse goes to give her turndown service, she won't know to flip her over. That's right, I'm gonna give your grandmother bed sores. What is wrong with you? Calm down. Oh, this out. got her. Stop talking. Oh, she went for a punch, and she just got taken down. This is what happens when you mess with fight, the fight, 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 fight. What are you going to do? Hit me with a steel chair? Put me through a table? I'm going to get help. Oh, damn. Damn, Chris. Everyone already knows Hothead Red, but let me introduce you to her best friend, Trey. Get it? Because he busted his butt on a lunch tray. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. Catch up. Oh, no. Come on. Now her face matches her nickname. Damn, high school must have been tough for you. Miss Miss Red. Miss Maria Omega. I thought that was a good name for... My my female my career character, but now I might even but now I might change it because now it doesn't sound as good when I'm saying it as it did in my head. Ugh. So I don't know. We'll see. Oh God! What is this? Now what? Oh, we're still in high school. That could have been way worse. Yeah. Brooklyn could have posted a video of the whole thing online. Oh, wait. That's exactly what she did. I meant she could have dumped something worse on me, like mayo or hot sauce. And hey, at least she didn't destroy our list. So what? I'm not going to do any of those things anyway. What do you mean? We were just embarrassed in front of the entire school and currently 672 people on the internet. I bet a bunch of those are repeat views. Great. We're not even touching on the fact that I got beat up by a lunch tray. I'm never going to be a WWE superstar. I'll just go to college and get a lame job like my parents want me to. <sighs> I think you need to read the letter again. See? This is what I'm talking about. I can't even open my locker. What's your combination? 16339, I think. Letter, please. Here we go. I think this section is relevant right now. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is we did, but we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. And that life is one where you can have the freedom to follow your dreams no matter what they might be, to become anything you want. Using the only letter I have from my real parents as some sort of motivational speech is kind of a cheap move. They're right, though. You got a second chance in life, and you need to make the most of it. So why sell yourself short? You need to at least try. Fine. But when this whole WWE thing doesn't work out, I'm blaming you. It'll work out. I promise. Assuming you never have to wrestle a lunch tray. They're actually a lot tougher than they look. <laughs> oh my god, bruh. Alexander reached a new level. Oh. Alright, cool. Nice. Ah, shit. It's Riley Flash's wrestling school.
Okay, so maybe my memory of that day is a little off. Severe emotional trauma will do that. But did I really say all that stuff about her grandmother? Yep. You had some serious rage issues back then. Did you also forget that's how you got your nickname because you were always seeing red? No. I remember. And then Brooklyn tacked on the hot head part. <laughs> Gotta give her credit for that. You know, the rhyming definitely made it catchier. Hot head red. Hot head red. Hot head red. Okay, okay, we get it. Have you figured out that's safe yet? <sighs> no, but I'm pretty sure I use the same combination I've always used for everything, which is... 43, 12, 17. Um, Watch. That's not it either. Step aside. My memory might be foggy on some things, but I had to open your locker so many times in high school that I think I remember. Got it. Oh, shit. Oh. I. Okay. I knew that it was 1633 9. i they're all alone for so long. Mommy won't ever let that happen again. There's something seriously wrong with you. You're just jealous. We should get going. We can't be late. Hey, we got a message from President Johnson. Do you think you impressed the most electrifying president in United States history with all your career achievements? Actually, you do. All the best on your big day. I'll be watching from the People's White House. That's cool. <laughs> but I, I voted for Kane. <laughs> Dang, she really voted for Kane, too. Anyway. Alright, Riley Flash. So we are done with high school. We are now in the year 2001 or something like that. So... I feel the skin peeling on the side of my neck. It's kind of weird, but like I feel skin peeling right there. Oh shit, we get to talk to AJ Styles, Natalia, or we can leave. President Johnson, do you think you impressed the most electrifying president in the United States history with all your career achievements? Actually, you do. All the best on your big day. I'll be watching for the People's White House. My speech is ready. Is yours expecting to be entertained? Mm, okay, Rhonda. I see you. Alright, let me go to the My Player tree and go ahead and upgrade that a little bit. Uh, where sh What direction should we go? What's this one? Top Rope Diver. Yeah, I want to go in that direction. What's this one? Springboard Ivory. Yeah, I want to go in that direction as well. What is this one? Nosebleed Daredevil. Uh, what about over here? Combo Striker. Pin Combo. Yeah, I want to go in that direction. Technician. That's a good one to go with. Finisher, Ladder Daredevil, Resiliency, no points available my ass, I'm just kidding, anyway, alright well that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and do this, do something real quick. All right, then. Well. All right. Uh, let me
me go and switch to... Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and read the messages. Sarah Amato, can't wait to see you honored tonight. You deserve it. Trish Stratus, congratulations. Welcome to the club. Candice LeRae, lucky to have been a part of your amazing career. Enjoy your moment in the spotlight. Alright, Candice, well, thank you. Appreciate it. Now I gotta go spend more skill points, because, yeah. We don't talk about it. Alright, what's this one? Top rope diver. Yeah, I need to go that direction. I think this one, yeah, this, okay, these look all the same then, don't they? Springboard Diver, I think, yeah, this one's probably, yeah, this one's pin combo, definitely. I'm gonna go ahead and go in this direction. Alright, well, I have no more points available now. And I, I think after the stream, since I got Top Rope Diver and Springboard Diver for um, Chris Alexander and Maria Omega, I'll go ahead and get to all that later. I'm not going to do that all right now on this on the, on the uh, stream. I mean, I could, but I wouldn't take very long, but, like, I don't really want to. All right, AJ. Oh, wait, I already read all these. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hey, AJ. What's I up, still bud? can't believe it's really all over for you and Red. I know it really is, AJ. It really I know. is. It is starting to sink in, though. Just this morning, I was thinking about that time we faced each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Man, that was brutal. Yeah. But thanks to you in that match, now every time my jaw hurts, I know it's going to rain. Really? Maybe you should get that checked out. No way. You might be the champ who runs the camp, but I'm the champ who knows when it's damp. Yeah, that doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Oh my fucking god, I don't want to play. More, but I should get going since my jaw barometer is telling me it's about to sprinkle. Good seeing you, AJ. Alright, AJ. Yeah, good talking to you. Natalia. I just wanted to congratulate you, Red. You really deserve this. Thanks, Natty. I know we had some differences over the years, but we always worked them out in the ring. Yeah, except that one time we got into it backstage. <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't. You threw me into a road case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What were we even fighting about? The usual stuff. Who was better, the title, you saying you were the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. We all said some crazy stuff brawl. over the years, but no need to go into it right now. Thanks again for the kind words, Natty. I don't... I've never really played, the, like, the side matches in this game. Like, the ones with AJ and Natalia. Never really played those. So... Hey, it's X-Pac. Just keep walking, we don't have time. We always have time for X-Pac. Besides, you can't just ignore a WWE Hall of Famer. I can. Trey. Pac! What's going on? Hey guys, looking good. You too. Thanks, I'm on this new mustard only diet. As in mustard is the only condiment you use? No, as in I only eat mustard. I've already dropped like seven pounds. That's interesting. That's an, in but that's an interesting me. diet. This is your big night. I swear it was just like yesterday when I first saw you two on the indie scene. Yeah, at that point we were only a couple years in. And I was about 30 years in. But I could still go today if I had to. I'm telling you, this diet's legit. I guess you could say you can cut the mustard, huh? Oh my god. Anyway, we wouldn't Bruh. be here today if it wasn't for you. So, thanks. <laughs> that was I'm terrible. I'm sure you'd have been fine with it without my help. Trey, I don't think I can say the same for you. You were kind of the drizzling craps back then. No offense. 
No, it's true. And I wasn't just a drizzle. I was more like a torrential downpour of crap. Red was always ahead of me from the moment we started training. <laughs> Dang. Really hit you with that one. You can use this credit card for whatever you need, but we keep the reward points. I'm about 10,000 short of a free trip to someplace warm, and you're gonna help me get there. Deal? Got it. We are gonna miss oh. you so much. When did you get there? I just had to be close to oh, you one shit. more time. It, it feels like yesterday we got that call. There was a boy in Denver who was ready to be adopted, and now you're all grown up and going off to college. I, I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I know. Hard for me to believe, too. We'll come visit soon, okay? No, don't. I mean, a, a big part of college is learning independence, and if you're visiting all the time, then I'll never be able to do that. Just be smart about the credit card, okay? Like, if there's a big keg party, put it all on the card and have everyone pay you back in cash. That way, I'll be headed for that free beach trip in no time. Hey, maybe we could go on spring break together. Frank? I have to go. Okay, drive safe. Dang, 2001, the boys. Get out of the car. <laughs> right. Call us when you get to school. We love you, Denver. So we are in high school in 2000. Then 2001 comes around, and now we're going to college. Meaning we're not going to college at all. We're going to go wrestle. So yeah, we're not really going to college. But they meaning my parents and the game. Do you believe this? We're don't need to know about that. It. Our very first list item. Train at the dungeon. Are you excited as I am? I don't think that's possible considering you've already had three energy drinks before we've even left town. <laughs> but this is gonna be cool. I know. Think about how many top superstars came through Calgary. The Hearts, Edge, Jake the Snake Roberts, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and we're next. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have a long way to go before we can be mentioned in the same sentence as those legends. Everyone has to start somewhere though, right? And the dungeon is a great place to start. I still can't believe your parents were okay with all this. What happened to them wanting you to go to college? They changed their minds. Just like that? Just like that. Huh. Well, that's good. Hey, pull over real quick. Bathroom break already? No, I want to show you something. See that What sign? are you showing me? Our faces are going to be on it someday. You really think oh we my can become God. more famous than the inventor of the paper toilet seat cover? He put a lot of butts in seats. And when we make it to WWE, so will we. <laughs> Man, you got that enthusiasm. You really do. Man, all right. Let's see you. Why are you dancing, Red? All right, time for a road trip game. If you could face anyone who trained in Calgary in a dream match, who would it be? Isn't it a little early for road trip games? We still have, like, 2,000 miles to go. Come on. I'll get you started with some options. How about... Bret Hart, Jake the Snake, or Rowdy Roddy Piper? 
Yeah, you know what? I don't want to play. I'm good. Don't okay, want to play. Fine, be a grump. But let me know if you want to play later. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and keep driving to Calgary. Home of the famous dungeon. I swear, I can almost hear the wrestlers of the past groaning in pain. <laughs> That's my stomach. For the past two days, I've had nothing but moose jerky, maple puffs, and poutine. Yikes. Look, I just want to say, I know I've been a little skeptical, but now that we're here, I can see us doing this. I mean, once Bret Hart hears how far we drove, he's going to have no choice but to welcome us right in for training. So, thanks for pushing me on this. Of of course. Well, here we go. <laughs> hey there. I bet you're here for Bret Hart, eh? Uh, hello. Uh, and yes, he's going to train us to be wrestlers. Eh? I'm not sure I'm using that correctly. Is Bret home right now? He is. Hang on a sec. Bret, two lovely people are here for wrestling training. He'll be right down. I'm sure he's just putting his tights on, gelling up his hair, finding his sunglasses. He's got to look the part, you know. Of course. So are you Brett's housekeeper? Okay, seriously, guys? I'm messing with you. So Brett's not home? No, and he hasn't been for years. The hearts don't live here anymore. But you said... This kind of thing happens oh. like once a month. And I like to have a little fun when I break the news. How is that fun? We just spent three days driving here. And I gave myself severe stomach issues. At this point, we'd settle for one of the more obscure Hart brothers or even a distant cousin. Like I said, none of them are here. You seem like nice kids. Stupid, but nice. Next time, do some research before you decide to drive all the way up here. Jeez, so much for Canadian Jeez. hospitality. I thought you said you checked all this out online. I did. I mean, I searched for dungeon in wrestling, and then some really weird stuff came up, and I kind of got sidetracked. Point being, don't look at my browser history. But hey, we can't. Oh here. my we at least god! Get a eh, can we do another one? I was making a weird face, probably on account of the stomach pain. Maybe you were right about us trying to become wrestlers. We've already failed at the first thing on our list. And maybe we're not cut out for this. Hey, wait, we can't just give up that easily. I have an idea. <laughs> this man, Chris, said, I got an idea. Nah, I'm just playing. Like, what is he, SpongeBob? A anyway, I'm gonna just shut up now. I'm gonna just keep my mouth shut now. So you drove all the way to Calgary thinking you were going to train with Bret Hart? I've done some stupid stuff in my life, but that takes the cake. <laughs> it wasn't our finest moment. <laughs> but since I had a dad who only looked at the rewards section on the credit card bill, we were able to stay in Calgary and learn from a former wrestler who, at least according to him, trained with the Hearts back in the day. I think he just ran next to one on a treadmill once. So that's how you guys hooked up with Riley Flash. Yeah. After striking out at the dungeon, it was kind of our only option. Even though Riley can be a bit much sometimes, he gave us the foundation we needed to get here today. He also gave us ringworm with his dirty mats, but that's a whole other story. Hmm. All right. Ah. Mm. 
All right, man. Guess we're guess in two thousand one we're doing a lot, and it's right after high school we're doing a lot here. I guess. Oh shit. Gotta get Josie to red health. Oh snap. Alright, bet. You know what? Get up, Josie. I forgot Josie and Josie Jane and El Mago have edited movesets too. Kind of forgot about that one. That's alright. Bam. Uh, bam. Oh. Come here, Josie. Give me that arm. Mmm. Oh, uh, ripcord Spanish fly. Dang, she knows how to do it. Anyway. Sunset flip. Top rope. How did you miss that? Oh, Josie. Oh, Josie Jane with the Tilt World DDT. Oh, oh, she's coming back. Oh, dang. Got her. Oh, that works true. Axe kick. Standing Shiranui. Dang, snap German. She's going off on Josie Jane right now. She's got Josie. Oh, double stomp to the arm. Oh, that's not good. Elbow, but she missed it. Oh, the tornado ends at Gary. Oh, Chris Alexander and Elmago Jr. Illegal. <coughs> Single leg drop kick. Ooh. Yeah, ooh, Elmago went for the rocket kick and got countered. Dang, Elmago, that's tough. And now Chris Alexander's got Elmago. Elmago Jr., I should say. Oh shit. Oh, he's going for a moon salt as well. Over oh, he didn't miss it on like red. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. And a double suplex. Now Mago kipped up from it. I'll show you guys my finishers and stuff before I get to the objective. So that's what I'll do. Oh. And a deadlift German suplex. Josie Jane rolls through. Oh,
from Marie Omega. For something to Josie Jane with a German suplex. Josie Jane with a wheelbarrow stunner. Cover. And she kicked out. Nice. Signature. Oh, I went for it. Oh, she countered it. Alright, well, I'm just going to do the objective anyway. Scoop slam. Oh, shit. He tripped coming into the room. Mm hmm. This man, Chris Alexander, is legit. Like, imagining a crowd there. Now Lago the Coke. Coquina clutch. You can pin him like that. Coquina clutch. Coquina clutch. It's all right. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Catch your breath. We'll get him next time. All right. You good? Yeah, we are fine. We may have gotten beat by El Mago Jr. because he's a Samoa Joe wannabe, but we'll be fine. It's not gonna terribly set us back or anything. I need to write, write something else down on my phone real quick, too, while I'm at it. All right. Guys, come here. We need to talk. Is it about your disgusting ring mat? Because I feel like it's making me itch all over. Hey, what was that for? For playing to an imaginary crowd. It cost you the match. Red, great job. Keep it up. Remind me why I show up here every day to get tortured? That's not torture if you're paying for it. Now, what I didn't tell you was that match was actually a tryout. For what? Is WWE coming to town? Not quite. It was a tryout for the local Winterfest that's coming up. The organizers asked me to put on a wrestling event. That's great. Who are we going to face? I wouldn't mind a rematch against those two. Slow down. After what I just saw, only one of you was ready for their first official match. Sorry, Red. You'll get your chance soon. Uh, Red's the one who's ready, not you, doughhead. What? When it comes to in-ring ability, Red's got you beat by a kilometer. Isn't that less than a mile? Oh, thanks for the conversion, Albert Asswipe. Bottom line, you're too focused on the entertainment side of things. Well, maybe you oh my focused God. enough on the entertainment side of things. Didn't you only appear in WWE, like, three times? Uh, four, if you count the time I helped carry Macho Man to the ring on his fancy chair gimmick. You mean a sedan? No, it was a chair, not a car. Either way, I was in WWE four more times than you'll ever be. I'll make it there someday. It's on our list. Oh, yeah, and someday I'm gonna poop golden nuggets. Oh, no offense, Red. Whatever. You'll see. <clears throat> Congrats on getting your first match. You know I'll be there cheering you on. Thanks, I know. Uh, speaking of cheering her on, since you like running your mouth so much, you can accompany her to the ring as a manager. That actually might be a better fit for you long term. A manager? That's not what I'm here for. You'll figure this out. I know it. Oh, one more thing. I need to know what to call you so they can advertise the event. That's easy. I'm sticking with Red. Kids started calling me that in high school because of my temper, but I'm going to turn it into something positive. Okay. Man, what about you? Sticking with Denver? Mm, I don't know. Sounds too regional. And Omelie. I know. How about uh, Albert Asswipe? Nah. 
Carl Botch on account of all the moves you botch. Wonderful trainer and call myself Riley Flash Jr. Oh, that ain't happening. Do you have any other nicknames? Trey! No, no, don't listen to her. I kind of like that. And you can spell it T-R-E, so it's kind of like three in Spanish, as in getting a three count to win a match. Which probably won't happen very often for you, but you get it, right? Yeah, I get it. Great. Then Trey it is. Thanks a lot. Oh no my problem, God. Trey. And hey, I just realized we can cross something off our list. Come up with awesome wrestling names. I don't know about the awesome part. <laughs> Man, all right, well. Yeah, I've already got El Mago and Josie Jane, so I don't need to worry about, you know, dealing with that again. Anyway. Oh, shit. It's the Winterfest, boys. Okay. Oh, I need to upgrade my, my player tree for, uh... Oh, I'm upgrading it for Maria. Alright, that's cool. Upgrading done. My player tree for Chris Alexander as well. What do we, oh, that's combo striker. Okay, we want to go this direction, I believe, right? Wait, what is this? Oh, it's nosebleed. Let's come back. Alright, there we go. So there's that.
All right, we're going to now we're going to go to the Winterfest event. Chances I can bring this out to the ring with me. Zero. But you should be plenty warm out there with all the hot air you produce. <laughs> Can't believe you didn't have a bigger career with singers like that. <laughs> Hi, sorry I'm late. I had to make like seven connections to get here from Orlando. Oh, hey, Peyton. No problem. I appreciate you doing me this favor. Red and Trey, this is Peyton Royce. We met when she trained here in Calgary, and now she recently signed with NXT. So, who am I facing tonight? And by the way, it's cold enough to freeze the tail off a brass kangaroo. Can I have this heater out there for my match? Oh, sure thing, Peyton. What? You'll actually be facing Red tonight in her first ever match. Wow, I it's an honor. We actually watch you on NXT all the time. And at least when my friend Trey here isn't hogging the laptop and watching weird videos of who knows what. <laughs> She's kidding. I told you to stay out of my browser history. Wait, did you say this is her first ever match? Yeah, Red's only been training for about three months, but don't take her lightly, she's really good. Three months? It took me longer than that to get here. And what kind of stupid name is Red? If anything, with your lack of experience, you should call yourself Green. <laughs> what? Anything she says with that accent is funny. After I'm done with you tonight, you'll understand why they call me Red. Because all that pretty white snow out there will be stained red with your blood. And then every time it snows, the children who were here tonight will be reminded of the carnage they saw and refuse to go outside. And after you spend weeks in the hospital and are finally able to drag your broken body onto the airplane back to Orlando, the pilot will be so terrified by the sight of your mangled face, he will lose control of the plane, sending it crashing down to the earth. Whoa, and whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I think she got the point. You have major issues. Ah, uh, what the heck was that? The old hothead red comes out when she gets angry. We've been working on dialing it back. I like the intensity, but just focus that on your match, okay? And if you can take a break while you're painting the snow red with Peyton's blood, maybe stop and soak everything in. This is your first match after all, which is a big deal. It's on our list. Sorry, you're right, and I'm happy you'll be out there with me. I'm gonna go stretch. Should I tell anyone with kids to leave? Nah, she'll be fine. I hope. <laughs> Actually, let me... Maybe. No, I, I gotta change this. There we go. Welcome oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. As always, I'm your host, Gord Wilson. Alright, there we go. Sorry guys, I had like my own special time I, time I was Welcome writing down for this, but I'm changing always, it. I'm your host, Gord Wilson. And this is Winterfest 2007 or something like that. I don't know what year this is, but anyway. Uh, oh, lifting inverted DDT. Oh, yeah, this can't be worse than last year's winter pass, eh? The good news 
is most of the victims of the wild moose attack have fully recovered. Double super kick. We'd like to thank our local sponsors, Second Hand Dukes, Larry Zambo. Went for the Meteora and missed it. And of course, Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. And bring your tickets down to Riley's for a free picture of Mr. Flash himself. After purchase of a commemorative frame for only $19.95. Peyton Royce, Hurricane Rana. With that temper on red, oh, I would not want to be in Peyton's shoes right now. Also, they don't look very warm. Sling Blade and the drop kick. Oh, she's got Peyton Royce down on the ground. Peyton Royce kicks her in the knee and the face. She's grabbing a chair, maybe? Yep, it is a chair. I knew it. Wait a second. Trey is finally doing something useful. Oh shit. Drop kick out of the ring. America. We're doing it. Suplex. Suplex. Two suplex right into a fisherman suplex. Oh, now she's got Peyton strike. Oh, went for it. Peyton with a spinning kick. Spinning back kick to the ribs. Koalas are cute, but they have terrible personalities, kind of like you. And uh, 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 the Great Barrier Reef is more like the just okay Barrier Reef. And, 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 and boomerangs are a sham. They never come back when you throw them. Uh, I really don't know that much else about Australia. Uh, oh, 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 your chain of steakhouses is severely overrated. Oh, she tried to slap that man. Oh, shit. Maria Omega DDT. She, she she got her there too. She's got Peyton Royce. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's Chris Alexander's old signature submission move. Or, well, that's not, well, not in this time frame. But an arm trap cross face. And Peyton Royce gets out of it. Oh. 
No. Kick to the back of the neck. Oh. Sliding German suplex. Standing Shuranui. After the wrestling matches are over, be sure to check out the ice sculpture. Wait a minute. Off the ropes. Oh, and an axe kick. Yeah, sorry. They made me sick. Oh, she's got to run into a ripcord Spanish fly. And now. The Falcon's arrow. Yeah, there's still another great match coming up. And an elbow. Wait, don't I have a? Oh yeah, I do have another signature. Oh, and a super kick to Peyton Royce right into a straight jacket. German suplex. This guy, Trey, on the outside is and wait a minute. Where am I? just got Peyton Royce in a... Oh, and a curb stomp. If you know what I'm saying. Curb stomp by Maria Omega to Peyton Royce. And oh... And Maria Omega says, what, what you all going to do now? Well, anyway, that's the Winterfest event. Oh shit. That was awesome. It was everything I've ever dreamed of. <laughs> I'm numb with excitement or maybe I'm just frozen, but either way, I get to cross two things off our list. And you did it without emotionally scarring any children. <laughs> Wrestle first match and win first match. Nice of your mate to help you out there tonight. Maybe if I see you again, I'll have some backup too. I look forward to it. By the way, I didn't really mean any of the things I said out there. Especially about you having the personality of a koala. You're way more pleasant, and I'm actually a big fan of your people's blooming onions. You're a total bogan. Wait, is that a good thing? I don't think so. Congrats on your <laughs> first win, Red. I knew you wouldn't let me down. And you're not going to either, Trey. What do you mean? It's been a last-minute change of plans. My surprise opponent for tonight was injured. Is that who I think it is? That's right. It's me. Oh shit, it's, it's Tyler Breeze. Pretty. Unfortunately, I slipped on some ice and stubbed my turning toe. Your turning toe? Yes, the most important toe. E.I. The toe one uses to turn on a runway. Ugh. I can't stand non-models. Anyway, it's a shame all these uggos here tonight will no longer get to see me compete against Riley Flash. Not that it would have been much of a contest. I mean... Look at this man. I have let myself go. He couldn't lace my boots on his best day. To be fair, some of my finer boots are slip-ons that don't have any laces, but you get the point. 
Anyway, Trey, I need you to take Tyler's place against me. I... I thought you said I wasn't ready. You're not, but... I liked what I saw from you out there during Red's match, and... Also, I don't have any other options. All right, I'll do it. First match. <laughs> do you want a picture to oh, commemorate shit. this moment? That'd be great. <laughs> Nailed it. I'll post it for you. Hashtag, mmm, gorgeous. This man, Tyler Breeze. I'm actually done. And we're gonna go ahead and talk to Tyler Breeze. You know about fashion. Obviously. Go on. Well, I already went out there once tonight, so I want a different look for my match against Riley Flash. Do you have any last minute suggestions? Ah, the classic quick change, as we models call it. Well, when I look at you, I see three options that fit the theme and location of this show. Lum Lumber, Prince Pretty, Speed Skater. I'm gonna say Prince Pretty. I know what that's gonna look like, but I'm kidding. We all know I did. Good luck, Prince. Not so pretty. Oh my god, <laughs> this man. Wow, that's an interesting look. You don't like it? It's fine. It's just that maybe you should worry about the actual match, you know? I know you don't like to hear it when it comes from Riley, but he has a point. You might be too focused on everything other than what happens inside the ring. People remember cool entrances and costumes. Entertainment is what makes wrestling great. Wrestling makes wrestling great. Well, there's more than one way to thread a needle. Actually, there's only one opening on a needle, so... Whatever, you know what I mean. Anyway, what's more important is you're going to have your first match. So have a great one. And entrance, too. Thanks. Oh my fucking god. Here comes Tr here comes Chris Alexander. Oh God! Here at Winterfest. We're here at the 2008 Winterfest event.
Here comes Riley Flash. Got Riley Flash schoolboy into it. Ends a carry to Riley Flash. He's grabbing Riley Flash up. Oh god. Oh, it, oh Riley Flash starts whips him, but but Chris Alexander goes underneath the ropes. Comes back and hits him with a clothesline. Riley Flash with a suplex into a side slam. Riley Flash with a sit up face buster. Super kick by Chris Alexander. Chris Alexander's got Riley Flash where he wants him. And he's just beating up his own trainer. Former strike while well, Riley Flash is near the bottom barricade. Gotcha. Oh, really, Riley? This man, Riley Flash. Oh, he's doing my move. I'll be right back. My phone's ringing.
Chug that was involved either, though. The, no, yeah, what Chugs was, Chugs and Wine have been, were saying is that ever since me and Killer started dating, that has become toxic, which is not even, that's a lie. That's a lie. See, I was also told that Bill was saying stuff too, but then he was telling me he said it all as a fucking joke, which I don't exactly believe. And apparently Edwards was saying stuff, but he kind of denied it, so I don't, I, I never believe anything that comes out of Edwards' mouth, though. So... I'm trying to figure everything out right now, but so right now is a really good time. It's not. Oh, I guess I'll talk to her when I'm ready to.
also taking a break from Charge 2 for a bit.
Uh, yep, everything's good now. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I was just kind of, I was talking to my friend about some personal stuff. Um, I'm not going to say what. So. Oh, dang, the mass destruction. I, I love the mass destruction, man. I really do. But anyway. Get out, Riley. But yeah, no, I'm just talking to my friend about personal stuff that's been going on. I'm not gonna say what though. But yeah. Oh god. Oh. The hell? What's he doing? The hell? my Oh my god! This man. This man got his tongue stuck. This man got his tongue stuck. This match will continue. This man got his tongue stuck on a barricade. Riley Flash has wrestled the who's who of popular superstars throughout his career. He never actually beat any of them, but who's keeping track? I'm fucking done, bro. This man Riley. You did not just slap me. You no, know, Riley, I don't appreciate you slapping me like that. I really don't appreciate it. Don't appreciate that, Riley. Just, just get, get out of here. No, get out of here. Get off me. Is the going to the Half Nelson Neckbreaker. <laughs> Wasn't that like John Cena's signature? Like one of John Cena's signatures in like 2K15? Riley Flash. Not this again. Ow. Riley, stop stomping me. Oh, get your ass out of here, Riley. Don't even care. Come here, Riley. Come here, Riley. Eat your ass, Riley. Actually, wait. No. Maybe, should I? No, maybe I should. I don't know, I might... Signature. God damn it, he fucking reversed my sig. <gasps> oh no, not the flash cross. Ow. Oh damn. This man. Riley, why are you putting me in the corner? You bitch. No. Oh, the sit out face buster. Riley, you are not going for that move. I know what your move is. I edited your move set. Get off me, Riley. Don't try that. Oh, here's my move. I just thought Riley slash. Oh, oh! There it is. Riley Flash kicked out. Wait. That was only a two count, you hoser. This man thinks he won, and he let go of the pin. Riley Flash inverted atomic drop into a face punch. What the fuck? That's gay. Oh my god. Hey, I want to thank everyone for coming out to the show. 
And also, it needs to be said that I had two students who had their very first matches tonight. Red, who beat Peyton Royce earlier. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? And now Trey, who had a good effort on short notice, but got a little bit ahead of himself. We'll work on his counting. Trey, I I'd let you have the mic, but I think you might be a bit tongue-tied. <laughs> Give it up one oh more time my God. for Trey. This man. This man, Chris Alexander, got his tongue stuck in a fucking barricade. And then he lets go of the pin at two and thinks he won. Trey. Or, Chris. You don't do that. That's not how wrestling works. It doesn't work that way. I need to change this again. I'm thinking Pavones to celebrate. Isn't that place super expensive? It's on me. Well, technically my parents, but we deserve it. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Now get that heat blasting. That's weird. Gas is full. I'll, I'll call them back later. Well, maybe they can help with the car. And we can tell them about our first matches. No. Hey, it's Red, you're on speaker. Oh, hi there. Are you visiting Denver at college? What? Uh, now's not really a good time. Why? Is something wrong? Or are you having car trouble? Yeah, we are. How'd, how'd you know that? Just hang up. Cut the crap. We remotely disabled the SUV because we know you're not at school. And we're pretty sure you never were. We got an alert about a substantial charge in Canada for something called Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. And then after we looked into it, we discovered charges for the past few months, including a crazy hotel bill, gas, food, clothes, you name it. Do you know how disappointed I was when I realized I was going to have to return all those reward points? I was this close to a free trip. This close! It is not about the stupid points. We were hoping you'd come clean on your own about all of this, but I guess you're just gonna keep on lying. Hey, wait! Look, this is what I want to do with my life, and no matter how many times I told you that, you still didn't support me. So I was pretty much forced to lie. Would you rather I be miserable at school? Of course not, but you have to be realistic. You are never going to make it as a pro wrestler. There's a better chance of me dating a supermodel. Frank! Which is impossible because your mom is stunning, <laughs> and I would never date anyone else. I will make it. Oh my I do, God. I wish you would have had my back before I was successful and famous. It's not too late to try to put all this behind us. We'll activate the SUV if you come home now. Then I can try to get you re-enrolled in school for next semester. You're going to have to ship the car home. Because I'm staying here to pursue my dreams. Maybe someday you'll understand that. Hey, wait. What are you doing? You're going to get yourself killed. I'd rather that happen than talk to you right now. Leave me alone. Sorry, but I'm not going anywhere. We set out to do this together, and this doesn't change anything. I mean, other than the fact we now don't have a car or somewhere to sleep, but you know what I mean. I still want to do this if you do. I appreciate your loyalty, but you lied to your parents and me about what we were doing here. And you basically sat back and let me steal from them. Don't worry about the money. I'll pay them back. And I'm sorry, but you've always told me to take the advice from my birth parents' letter, right? About following my dreams? Well, that's all I was trying to do. You didn't need to lie to do that. It's the only way I could see this working. But I'll never keep a secret from you again, I promise. From now on, it's total honesty between the two of us, okay? You're gonna know everything, even how many times a month I shave my toes. You shave your toes? Weird. See? I'm an open book. So, no more secrets, okay? 
I know he said no more secrets, but you can't tell him ours. It will ruin him. Okay. No more secrets. So now what do we do? We're carless and without the credit card, pretty soon we'll be homeless. I think our only option is to hit the road and try to make some money on the indies. But we'll have to start roughing it like actual up-and-coming wrestlers. You think we have enough cash for a new car? I wouldn't say new. Oh, okay. Hmm, that's an interesting one. We managed to get a used car that fell under our budget, probably because it also fell under various recalls and safety violations. Do we stick our phones in this slot? Nothing's happening. I think that's a tape deck. This car doesn't exactly have the latest features. Roughing it, remember? Right. So I'm assuming there's no Bluetooth. No, but I did find an actual tooth in the trunk. Shark or human? Human, I think. Lame. Well, now that we have our extremely safe and luxurious ride that may or may not have had a body in the trunk at some point, where to? We do have Wrestle in Memphis on the list. Assuming this piece of junk can make it that far, then I guess we're headed to the great state of South Carolina. That is where Memphis is, right? Close. Maybe I should drive. It's fine. I got this. Is that also a feature on older cars? Nope. Don't think so. Oh my goodness, this man. <laughs> oh my god it's a giant rib no it's the giant rib himself known as ribby Alright guys, well that's going to be the end of the stream in just a second here. Give me like a quick second. Alright, so I have like 7 skill points.
All right, hold on. Now, you get, now I gotta go ahead and switch and do the same thing. The snows bleed. Alright guys, well that's going to be the end of this stream. Uh, yeah, hey, I hope Brian over at the used car lot hooked you up with a good deal, because if he didn't, I could expose some skeletons in his closet. Oh, or in his case, the trunks of the cars he sells, literally. There might be bones in there. Anyway. Alright guys, well I'll see you guys in the next stream. Deuces.